Hi everyone, it's Domino here from Cotton on Manchester. I hope everyone is well. This is this week's newsletter video. Um, I'm just going to wait a second to uh, see if anyone's going to join before I delve right in. So I'm just going to stall a little bit. I hope everyone's having a good week and enjoying the weather, which is very nice. So we're having a lovely, um, it's supposed to be really nice for the rest of the week. Okay, anyway, let's jump into this week's newsletter video. So, first of all, a massive thank you to everybody that came, um, all the artists that were at the market, all the artists that um, ran the workshops for us, all the people that came to the workshops, my amazing team, everybody at Halle, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for everything that you've done for the Art All Day on Saturday. Um, so yeah, it was just a really good day. It was another good, successful event, which, you know, I can't complain about. We had consistent numbers that were matching the last uh, couple of events, which is great. A um, bit worried because it was such a nice day that people weren't going to come, but they did. So that was really good. Um, we've had some really nice feedback from the artists as well that were at the fair. And I've just sent out my feedback email to people that attended the workshops and stuff so hopefully we'll have some lovely feedback from them too i've just had the pictures back from the workshops which looked amazing especially the oil painting workshop you guys are good man there's some really nice paintings that came out of that workshop um and it was just lovely absolutely lovely speaking to the artists that were there we had a load of new artists that hadn't ever um done art fairs before which is brilliant so it's really good that we you know we can give them that platform to get out there and, and sell their work and um, you know learn more about their work and see what's popular and stuff so yeah honestly there's a lot and lot of positives to take from the event on Saturday um, which just went really well and I feel like I'm still recovering from it because it was a long day it always is but it's a great day because you know I'm I'm surrounded by amazing Manchester creatives and I get to talk to so many people that come to the event. We've made some really good new connections with people. We've got like, I don't know how many, I think it's like five pages of new emails that, of people signing up to the newsletter. Half my business cards have gone. Um, so yeah, honestly, it's just, it's a really great day and I hope everyone that came enjoyed it too. And uh, looking forward to the next one in June. So I'm just confirming dates and uh, paying for the license to hold the event. And then we'll announce everything for the Art All Day of Summer uh, very, very soon. So yeah, really looking forward to doing it again. So thank you again. It was another great event and I loved it. And I hope everyone that came and everyone that was there loved it too. So that's that. So now what's next? What is next? We're cutting on Manchester. There's literally no rest for the wicked. We are right back into it. Um, this week we've got our... Um, art theory and practice workshop our colour theory workshop at Gallery Oldham's that's on Saturday so do go check that out if you want to take part in a workshop where not only do you get to go to the exhibition at the gallery and be um, uh, with an artist talk at the exhibition by an art historian you then get to go and do the practice side of things and the, the physical side of things and learn um, about colour theory and how to use colour in your artwork by an artist as well. So it's like two for one really in one uh, workshop so do go check that out. Plus we love doing it at Gallery Oldham, they're so friendly and lovely and it's a great location to do workshops as well. And then you just, you know, you can go to the gallery too in your own time. So we've got that on Saturday and then next week we've got three private booking workshops, so busy with those. We've got a life drawing workshop coming up, we've got a how to draw workshop and a watercolour painting workshop so yeah busy 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 on the workshop front this week um and then for our big event what's our next big event it's the in manchester exhibition which i've just put up our poster here i've got a little poster wall going as you can see behind me um so yeah our in manchester exhibition is now only a couple months away in may um which i feel i feel now i can be a bit more prepared for now that the hospital day is done in Manchester is my next big event focus. You've got one less than a week. You've got like, what day is it? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You've got three days left to apply for the exhibition. Oh my God, guys, get your applications in. Um, we are taking over Barbarelli Square. One of, the, not the whole building, one of the floors, floor six on Barbarelli Square, but it is a massive, like it's absolutely huge. So there's loads of space where we need to fill work. So do get your applications in. It's open to all greater Manchester artists as normal. 
Um, and once we've got all the applications in and we get a chance to go through them all, we will then start putting together some artist talks that we want to do at the exhibition as well. So um, yeah, lots to plan, lots to do, lots of walls to build, um, plinths to build, and yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be really really good, and I'm super excited for it. I'm just a bit nervous because the building is the floor space is massive, so I literally have no idea how we're gonna fill it, but I'm gonna try, and I need you to help me do that by applying. So do get your applications in the website. The link to uh, the website for more information is in our bio, so go check that out. And the exhibition itself starts on the 19th of May. I should know that by now. I think the private view is the 19th and then it's open to the public from the 20th of May to the 5th of June. Uh, question, is it to sell work or showcase? Both. It's up to you. It's up to you as the artist, as the creative. You can decide whether you um, want to sell the work or not. It's completely up to you. So we, at our In Manchester exhibition, um, the first one that we did at Saul Hay, I think all I think I think there was only about five or six pieces that weren't up for sale. We had eighty pieces on, um, and we sold quite a few actually. Some, you know, we sold a mix of like um, I don't want to use the word cheaper, but more affordable pieces that were like thirty pounds that were at the exhibition to some of the more expensive pieces. One of them that was like. I think it's like 1,700 in the end that was sold. So yeah, so there's a big mix of people coming to these type of exhibitions with a big range of uh, money to spend. So it's completely up to you whether you want to keep your work and collect it afterwards or if you want to put it up for sale, it's, yeah, it's it's either way. Um, yes, so yeah, that's the exhibition. Um, I'm really excited. I am really excited for it. It's going to be really good. I just, I just need to... I need to get on with it now because there's still a lot to do uh, but actually there's not this week there's not really too much I can do until the applications come in Friday midnight is your uh, deadline and then we'll start going through them all next week and get back to everybody um, with their results so yeah so that's what's coming up really um, there's nothing new on the blog because uh, we just didn't have time with the art all day -er. Um, I'm hoping to do the What's On April article this week, so this that will be on the blog on Monday and the following Monday will be our new Mank of the Month for April. Um, and we are looking at doing some more public workshops um, and some new venues. I had some meetings last week with some new venues in the city centre which would be good. So I'm just working out um, some information about that and which workshop would be best to host. Um, to the public if you've got any suggestions of what workshops you'd like us to list do let me know I'm thinking following the um, oil painting workshop that we did at the Art All Day it seemed like that one was really quite popular so we might do that as a public workshop but that's a suggestion do let me know if there's something you want us to host as a public workshop and we will see what we can do um, and also yes if you um, were part of the Art All Day or you came to the Art All Day on Saturday we do have a trust pilot page and um, just search cotton on MCR and all your feedback will be greatly received. Um, is that the right saying? All your feedback will be greatly received. I think so. Yeah, uh, because, you know, we want to learn. We want to move on. We want to get bigger and better. And the best way to do that is to get feedback directly from you guys who were there and, um, you know, see it from the side of the people from the other side of the people, not just me from behind the scenes. So do, do, do um, drop us an email, drop us a uh, Instagram message or go on our trust pilot page and give us feedback there. <laughs> Sorry for my runny nose. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it for this week, guys. Um, oh, that's what we've got. Interviews for new um, volunteers to help behind the scenes from the university. So we've got those planned, which would be good to get some new students involved and helping out with Cotton on Manchester. And on the Cotton on Leeds side of things, we've got interviews for workshop assistants coming up this week so that'll be good too so yeah i'm really really busy trying to update the office space as well um as best i can with when i've got time so yeah i'm gonna i'm, I'm waffling on i better get back to it thanks for watching have a lovely week um and yeah we'll speak to you again soon all right guys bye